President Trump has recently called out Mecklenburg County Sheriff Gary McFadden for getting rid of the 287G program. Now that put McFadden in the center of a national debate on immigration, and in an exclusive interview, he told our anchor Genevieve Curtis he's been getting death threats. I never thought it would have reached this point, and I never thought America would have allowed it to reach this point. Sheriff Gary McFadden's decision to stop participating in 287G or enforcing ICE detainers thrust him into the national stage and a larger immigration debate, but he says it's also made him a target. It's very nasty. It's a very nasty debate. People are fearful for their lives. You know, I have to be more cautious. You know, I get death threats. I get people openly tell me what they want to do to me and my family. McFadden says House Bill 370, which sought to force sheriffs to comply with the ICE detainer program and was vetoed by Governor Roy Cooper this week, isn't even about immigration. It's about the authority of an elected official. Do not erode the powers and the duties of an elected sheriff. McFadden says there's also confusion about how it actually works. Some accuse him of letting dangerous criminals out of jail. McFadden says he does cooperate with the federal government. When they cannot determine what the immigration status of a person in custody is, they notify ICE. He says the federal government must issue the warrant for criminals they want to keep in jail. Have a federal warrant sent to me and that person will remain. In fact, he says there are 425 federal inmates in the Mecklenburg County Jail right now because of federal warrants. The sheriff says ultimately the immigration issue distracts from the real issues facing our community. I think that we need to focus on violence in the schools, mass shootings, and the hate that we are now seeing. He says he's following the law and will continue to do so despite the threats. I took an oath and I'm going to stick with the oath. Our Genevieve Curtis reporting.